Hey everyone, how is it going? Today, I'm going to be reacting to the brand new EP, Bloom, by Joe Turan and Justin the Flora God. Before we get into this reaction, you guys already know what it is. We are more than just reactions, so hit that subscribe button from a part of this journey. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am because I get to react to this EP finally. We're not going to make this intro too long. But Justin the Flora God, Joe Turan, they're up, up and coming artists. And I believe in their vision. I believe in their vision. I haven't listened to their music at all, but I'm excited to get into this. And I hope you guys are excited as well. Their socials will be down in the description. Not going to make this intro too long. You guys already know the vibes. Let's get it started with old news. Title, well, first track. I'm actually, I'm so excited for this. Uh, I'm just going to pause it instantly. If you see me looking over to the right, it's because I'm looking at the lyric sheet. That's facts, though. It's just chill. Nice to listen to. The next day flies as the last one ends. I can't break cycles, but just start trends. That's crazy. I think about me doing YouTube and stuff. And I got into the cycle of not posting consistently. And throughout like these past two years or whatever... There'll be like a week or two weeks or just whatever span of time where I like upload semi consistently. But since I made it a cycle of not uploading, not making videos, it's it's hard to just be consistent and just be on that. So they're just trends, but they're not it's not a cycle, it's not a lifestyle. What would it be like to forget how to doubt when I'm I like how fuzzy that that is. So the person who was just singing that is Joe Tron, and the person who's starting to sing now is Justin the Floor Guy. I'm 60, put my anti-social life, a plant in line for Delilah Sky, a one-track mind. A, a paranoid man makes parent excuse me a paranoid man makes paranoid friends you are who you surround yourself with that i actually really like that what would it be like if oasis would stay in the same place here a, a lot of the time like we just become so used to not moving forward and just we get comfortable in the place that we're in so it would be so nice if oasis was just there but it's not oasis is when you're just you're just pushing after something and you're going after something that's where oasis is it's never here it's never here but in turn, maybe it is always here. If you're living, yo, think about that. If you are chasing a dream or just working on a passion or just something that you truly deeply love, that is your oasis. But at the same time, you doing that, you are moving forward. So it's like moving forward is your oasis, but also the present moment is your oasis as well. Yo, I don't know what's what I'm like on right now, but I may I hope that that's what maybe that's what they were trying to convey in the song as well. Oh. 
That's fire. That's so chill, but also so big. So this was old news. Now we move into vampire. Oh, we're going to get the transition. Um, hold on one sec. Let's see if there's a transition here. Okay, not really, but yeah, I liked it. I liked it over overall. That last part, Soothe It Hoping, um, the outro part, I liked how big it was, but it still felt warm and intimate. Um, the vibe didn't really change necessarily, but I, I really, I actually really liked that song. Now we're getting, a, getting into the next track called Vampire. Okay. What is that instrument? Is that like a is that a mandolin? Is that what that's freaking called? So the first line, I've never seen the silver line. I walk along embedded in the sun or on my eyelids as soon as I bear witness to where I belong. When I read, I've never seen the silver line. I walk along. It just, it, this, this whole project, by the way, is about being a, an artist in the modern world. So you have to look at every lyric from that perspective. So when you say, I've never seen the silver line, it's like, you can be working on something and putting out stuff and just grinding and then you're not seeing anything from it. Like you're not getting the views you want. You're not getting the engagement that you want. You're not getting the no the notoriety, notoriety <laughs> that you want. You could easily look at it and be like, yo, I just don't see the silver lining. Like what's the point of me doing it? You know what I'm saying? The cars I kept on chasing Yeah. I actually I like how they split up the verses. Um yeah, that's pretty cool. Um I I did notice that the the bass, the kick drum at least in this song, um, I have to go back and listen to old news, but I feel like the, the kick could be a little bit louder, but I do think they were going for a brighter feel for the, the song as well. I grow wings and think I'm better falling Another life in deep red in autumn But there's no more to hide and chase and comment Last night was a past life and highlights Hmm. It's it's so bright. It makes you feel feel good. And here, Joe in the background doing the high part. Nice little dynamic there. Sometimes comfort is destructive. 
sometimes comfort is destructive. That's facts. I just I basically just said that before. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't mind chasing something. I'm at a woman in the storm. I'm catching light. Let's break the atmosphere, because if I'm honest, I grew wings, but think I'm better fooling. But I break a chandelier to save a promise. Because I'm a cataclysm chasing solid. Highlights Yeah, this last chorus That's nice, bro That is nice They're doing a I, I like their lyrics, too I like their lyrics a lot They're It's like lyrics you, you, have to, you do have to think about But at the same time, they're not Like too cryptic to where you know you can't really understand it it's nice um this next song so actually wait let me give my feedback vampire I, I like that song i like i think i might like old news more than vampire i'm not sure they're both good um i do like as i got used to the the brighter sounds i did start to appreciate that more um like i know i said that the kick wasn't like that loud in the beginning which i I did think that, but then as the song went on, I feel like it actually fit really well. So the next song is called Turnpike. Turnpike. Okay. That's nice. That's such a punchy snare. It's like psh, psh. That sounds that probably sounds terrible in the mic. I apologize. Um one thing, find me at the turnpike chasing after sunlight. Um like just that one line before the chorus. I wish that there was a little more reverb on it and it sounded like it was more distant, but that's just, that's just a personal thing. Um, but I'm sure there was a reason why they, uh, produced it in that way. Oh, that's a nice melody. Tell me about your day. Tell me about your day. Oh, yo, I actually, I like, yeah, I like Justin's voice on this part of the song. I like it in the second verse a lot. I like when they, they sing over top of each other. That's a that's a banger chorus, bro. That's a banger chorus. Tell me about your day. This is my favorite one so far. I really like this. Oh! We just flew into that bridge. Looking from the outside, pulling me away when it's 
Something at the bottom of the turnpike And I keep on breaking Something that I rather do than keep you waiting But it's so high. I thought it was going to come back like full there Tell me about your day I, okay The one critique I have for the song that last chorus where I thought the the whole instrumental was going to come back and it was going to be bigger and just come back and it kind of just stayed quiet. I actually wish that it did that and then it did the chorus one more time at the end. I think it could have extended a little bit more, but either way, it was still that was a that was a great track. Great track. I really really like that one. That's my favorite one so far. But we're coming to the last song, October song. Hmm. Dang, good project so far. Turnpike, that 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 chorus, that chorus be hitting Diffy, no cap. But if you guys like their their music, go down in the description below, click on their links, follow them below, stream it on Spotify, and yeah, getting into the last track, October song. I like how he said um, guts and vermiculite. When he said guts, there was just um, a lot of texture in his voice. October. I'm monitoring now that I'm older. Foraging berries for birds that adore you. Finite moments out of bites. Not gonna lie, I knew that that was gonna happen. That Joe was gonna come in singing the higher pitch, and I knew exactly what it was gonna sound like. And it was so satisfying to hear that. That was really satisfying to hear. Finite moments at a bite size, corroding with the grapevines that I'm walking through. Hindsight is tortured to a when he sings with that high grit, his tone just sounds so good, bro. What the freak? When he gets into that, it's just nice. Wait, hindsight is torture to a highlight. Timber from an open fire to an open wound. Dude, their lyrics are really freaking good. At the end of the world, I'll be harvesting clovers and grains that'll spare me until it's October. Thickets of envy where dark boards are posters existing for centuries. The luck of a loner. Maybe there's time to be larger. The bridges and the climaxes of all these tracks are so good. Like, they're creating moments. And that's one of my favorite things in music. When moments can be created and... Like, my favorite thing is when a bridge of a song happens and it's this, it's such this, it's such a big moment and you can stay there forever it's like those bridges that you can just sing over and over and over and over again 
and each time you sing it it's like it's just so good they they created that in pretty much every single song so far play my truth you keep rolling the dice cause I turn sincerity into the rest the nice minor and I hit my head before I was falling October's just a morning of a June Okay, that is Bloom the EP. I enjoyed it a lot, man. I enjoyed it a lot. Obviously, like there's critiques in any type of uh wait, what the freak is on my desk, dude? There's critiques in any type of music you listen to. Um, but yeah, overall it was really, really solid. My favorite, like I said, was Turnpike. The only, the biggest critique I have is I think that there's more life in some of these songs specifically turnpike and october song i think there was a lot more life so i think turnpike could have been like three minutes and 30 seconds in october song um i'm not like i'm not like oh that song needed to be longer but if it was longer um i don't know it'd still be it'd be really really good um so those are the those are like the biggest things but i do wish turnpike that it repeated that chorus louder and then maybe did it again just softer to close it out um but yeah either way that's still my favorite track but i, I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did if you did like i said it's all, all down in the description all the links check them out please do them a favor um and not even just a favor just just so, show support um and i know that they're gonna keep putting out music and it's just gonna continue to grow and get better and better um so yeah good job guys um i support y'all i believe in the vision so yeah thank you guys for tuning into this reaction hope you guys did enjoy and if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys next time peace out